And somebody says, what are you talking about, man? I'll never be a millionaire. I'll never be a millionaire. Listen, you need to consider doing it because the way things are going, especially with you having two, three, four, five kids. Listen, they say the birth of a kid from birth to 18 years old, the cost of you raising that child is somewhere around $245,000 to $155,000 from birth to 18 years old. You need to be a millionaire just to raise four or five kids. Daycare isn't cheap. Activities aren't cheap. Food definitely is not cheap. So I know exactly how important this is to many of you. So biggest question I'm getting right now on social media is how do I get my federal stimulus check faster Cigar choice today is Arbano, a friend of mine in LA. I was introduced to him by uh, uh, Tigran and Patrick by David at PHP Agency. Great brand, great smoke, go check them out. All right, through this coronavirus pandemic, the United States government has stepped up, the left and the right, put together a bill, federal stimulus check coming your way. President Trump signed it in, boom, here we go. So biggest question I'm getting right now on social media is how do I get my federal stimulus check faster? and what resource was gonna look like. So in this video with the Money Smart Guy, I'm gonna share with you how to get your federal stimulus check faster, what it's gonna look like when you file for your check, what type of amount, and number three, what I'd be doing with it if I were you to make sure in the next three, four years you're making six figures and definitely a seven-figure income in this episode with the Money Smart Guy happening right now in three, hey, two, hey, one. Say, hey, say, hey. Hey. Oh man, it is starting to rain. Blame it on the rain. What's that song? But listen, we got to take this inside. Get with me inside my garage. It's starting to drizzle out here. Chicago weather, so unpredictable. Well, they don't call it April showers for nothing. Spring is definitely my favorite season of the year. Maybe that's symbolic for what we're about to cover here about rain. Rain signifies growth. Rain signifies, man, that soil is soaking up. And maybe you're at home right now, you're soaking up information, you're looking for the rain to soak you in a direction so you're financially blessed and much more ahead after this crisis, after this pandemic. Meanwhile, I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope everybody's staying healthy and you're staying strong. So you stumbled across the YouTube channel called The Seven Figure Squad. I'm your money smart guy, Matt Zapal, the host of this channel. And where did I come from? I came from a single parent background. I was a United States Marine. Our family comes here from the Philippines. I was responsible as a residential parent for the raising and rearing of my kids and I support them not only from a food standpoint, a shelter standpoint, but obviously from a financial standpoint, education, opportunities, activities. So I know exactly how important this is to many of you and I'm not insensitive to that. So when it comes to this opportunity though, and I realized long ago, that my tax refund check was was a source for me. Like I can't wait to get my tax refund check from the government because I'm getting over the government finally. And then after financial education and understanding, well, I'm, I'm not getting over in the government at all. The government's getting over on me. And I started looking at my tax refund check differently and looking at the money game differently in, in my life. And I used that check as seed capital to springboard me to another financial level, uh, at least to my awareness. And so to get this federal stimulus check could be potentially the seed capital to the future financial level of greatness and financial independence for you. But it's not only you getting it, but it's what to do with it and how you make it work for you. That's how you master the rules of the money game. Money is nothing but a tool. Money is nothing but a, a seed to bear you greater fruit and opportunity in the future. It creates options. And if you just blow it, you get it, you spend it, you blow it, you lost that opportunity. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to get your federal stimulus check faster, what I'd be doing with it in terms of if I was in your position, what I'd be thinking about in terms of mac maximizing this, this check from the government and ultimately at the same time too, what some things I'd be thinking about to make this the greatest season, although we're going through some horrific moments and horrible moments in our life through this pandemic, but there is a silver lining in any crisis. And so what this can mean to you in the future if you're looking to make yourself financially free, financially independent, looking at yourself at a six-figure and definitely joining and getting your membership into the seven-figure club, becoming a cash flow millionaire. Okay, so here's ways to get your federal stimulus check faster. Number one, expectations. Even if things go right in your favor after you go through this, expect a check within the next three to four weeks. Sadly, it's not gonna happen tomorrow, it's not gonna happen next week, but be patient with it for the next three, four weeks. If we're looking at right now, April what? April 6th of the shooting of this video. You're probably looking at the third or fourth week of April in terms of getting your federal stimulus check. Number two, it doesn't look like you have to do anything extra special if you filed your federal tax returns from 2018 
to 2019. With that being said, there are some sources that you can file your tax returns on for 2018, 2019 through TurboTax. Now, if you're in a position where you're not required to file because you don't have an income necessary that requires you to file a federal income tax, there's still some paperwork that you need to file and that is located on the IRS's website. Now, the biggest thing, the most important thing is if you file or have filed for 2018, 2019, make sure the IRS has your bank information so they can direct deposit you your federal stimulus check. Otherwise, you're waiting probably for another one or two weeks to get the hard check in the mail. Now, for those of you that did file but didn't submit your bank information, go to the IRS's website for the coronavirus relief information to make sure you file the necessary paperwork with the IRS. Well, some of you are asking, I did file my tax return, but I don't have a bank. Well, fine, the IRS is gonna send you a check to the address that you put in your tax return. Now, at the shooting of this video, there's probably a lot of other things that have happened to as well versus when we edited it and when we posted it. So please go to the IRS's website again for new updated information and any other requirements that may pop up along the way. Now, here's the juicy part. How do you know if you're even eligible? Well, let's see if you're even making 35,000 a year, 100,000 a year, 200,000 a year, $500,000 a year. Go to this website on TurboTax and let's take a look at it together. All right, so here we go. We are on the TurboTax website. Everything to help you get your stimulus check as soon as possible. Okay, so let's take a look at what you would qualify for based on your situation. Okay, so ask these questions. Have you filed your tax uh, taxes yet in 2019? Yes or no? Okay, so if you click no, Right, let's start with that. You haven't filed it yet, boom. By the way, they've extended the date of filing your taxes. With that being said, if you don't file your income taxes, you just may not get your federal stimulus check. So be urgent about filing your 2019 tax returns as soon as possible. All right, so over here, back to this website, what's your filing status? For example, I'm married. So let's file married, filing jointly. Let's say you make, you know, combined income, you're making 75,000 a year and you have two kids, right? Go over here to calculate, see what you qualify for. Likely receive a check for 3400 bucks in your economic impact payment check. Not bad, okay. So for those of you that are getting your federal income tax returns, you might get a double check from the government, one for your federal income tax return, and number two, your economic impact payment check. So what I'm getting to is, you might get a nice chunk of change here from the Uncle Sam if you do this the right way. So back to this website again. Let's say you're making 100,000 a year and you have two kids. What's the check? Same amount. What happens if you're making, uh, uh, 35,000 dollars a year, okay? Calculate, same thing, 3,400 bucks on your economic impact payment check. What happens if uh, you're single, okay? You're single, you're a single parent like I was and you had three kids, okay? I was making about $50,000 a year, starting off in insurance sales and they said boom. So you get a check for $2,700 in this, in this situation. So I believe the federal stimulus check is for every taxpayer, individual person, you get a $1,200 check and for every kid that you have, this, obviously, this is means tested for every kid that you have is $500 for every kid. That's why this looks like it's $2,700 in this situation for a single parent with three kids making $50,000 a year. Now, for some of you that are big ball to shot callers out there, you are uh, married filing jointly and let's say you're making $250,000 a year, okay? Same situation, you have three kids. What type of check will you receive? Boom, you make too much money. So for those of you out there that make over $250,000 in this example, you will not get a economic impact payment check from the federal stimulus. Now, what happens if you happen to be, I don't know, Filipino, <laughs> and you have four or five kids, what will that reflect? You're married, making $100,000 a year, combined household income between you and your wife. You have five kids in the house, married finally, you only haven't filed your taxes yet. Let's calculate again, $4,900 economic impact payment check, okay? So just depends on your scenario. Again, this is means tested, which means based on your filing status, which is based on your income, and also how many kids you have. So play around with this website here, TurboTax, we'll put the link right here too as well. We'll put the links here below in the description. So therefore you can go back and mess around with your scenario to see what type of payment check you're gonna expect from the federal stimulus. So here's a better question. Now you got your check, what do you do with it? See, for those of you watching this YouTube channel, it's all about wealth building. It's all about getting to the next level in your, uh, in your financial life. It's about becoming a cash flow millionaire, which I believe is the next wave of income that we need to make to actually live and survive in this country to have some options. And somebody says, what are you talking about, man? I'll never be a millionaire, I'll never be a millionaire. Listen, you need to consider doing it because the way things are going, especially with you having two, three, four, five kids, listen, they say the birth of a kid from birth to 18 years old, the cost of you raising that child is somewhere around 245 to $255,000 from birth to 18 years old. If you have one kid, that's 255, two kids, so on and so forth, three, four, five. You need to be a millionaire just to raise four or five kids. And the cost of kids, if those of you out there are parents, you know what I'm talking about. Daycare isn't cheap, activities aren't cheap, food definitely is not cheap, cleaning the house and keeping the house tidy and kept and organized is not cheap. 
So the better question here is, what do I do with this check? Would have you consider this is seed capital for me. It's just not something to blow. Be smart with this money. My way, most everybody is gonna blow their money. But if you're gonna get ahead financially, you wanna be part of the seven figure squad. You wanna be the next wave of six figure income earner, seven figure income earner in your family. For many of you, you're probably the first ever to start thinking this way, which for some of your friends and family is very annoying and that's okay. You just need to be the one that's thinking bigger, expecting bigger, and most importantly, willing to do bigger. So what would you do with it? Number one, I would definitely have a conversation. If you are renting, have a conversation with your landlord. Part of this federal stimulus package as many of these banks are giving forgiveness or deferral of what they need to pay in terms of the mortgage payments on the back end of their loans. So many of your landlords, many of the people that own the property that you're living in, they're giving some form of relief. So if they're getting a relief, you should respectfully ask your landlord for that same relief to be handed on to you as well. There's many things we also with inside a federal stimulus package that say, listen, if you're renting, you have some very tough economic times, I don't think any eviction court judge will evict you during this pandemic. The second thing is food. What I'd be doing right now, ration everything. Minimize the eating out. Minimize the DoorDash. Minimize the Grubhub. Now, it's probably not good for me to say that because we're trying to support our local entrepreneurs here, but listen, if this is the check that you're getting and this is the only income that you're receiving, I'll be very specific in how I ration this money. So do your very best to go to the groceries, buy in bulk, go there, do your thing, spaghetti, top ramen noodles, rice, beans, things that you can feed your family with, but I'd be very specific. Maybe not, now is not the time for everybody having steak and lobster, but having some practical, healthy meals that allows you to get through the next three, four weeks, gets you to the next phase of you receiving another income from a job when things get back to normal sooner than later. Number three, cell phone, internet, Wi-Fi. Contact your providers, because many of them have been allowing people to access Wi-Fi for free that you don't have to pay money for. Many of these providers say, you know what, we're not gonna charge you late fees for not being able to pay your monthly subscription, which doesn't mean you don't pay your bills, which means to say, listen, contact them and say, listen, if, if I'm having a hard time paying my bills due to this coronavirus, how long will it take for me to get my phone actually disconnected? Or you give me some form of extension, ask them, have a conversation with them. Number four, same thing with your credit cards. Many of them right now are waiving late charges. Many of them are waiving the fact that they won't report to the credit bureaus because you didn't pay your credit card payment time due to, to this pandemic. Again, contact the people that you owe money to in your credit cards, anybody that you owe money to in form of your debt. Last but not least, number five, which should be common sense. No big purchases. Listen, everybody knows I'm a big Jordan freak. I love Jordans. But for many of you right now, if you have no money coming, you have no cash flow, you have no predictability of when you're gonna get your next paycheck, don't buy anything stupid. Listen, if you don't need it to live on, don't buy it. I mean, think about this. Ask yourself, how much money have you actually saved the last 30 days because you weren't going out? You weren't unnecessarily going out to go shopping and flippantly just buying stuff. Think about how much money you've actually saved. Conserve. This is money, this is seed capital. This is not time to blow money on things. And some of you say, well, you know what? I've been working really hard and going through stuff. I deserve something. Listen, that's an emotional situation. You just need to have another form of expression to do that. It may not be something dealing with your money. It's probably time for you to consider reprogramming. I express something that you deserve. Because yes, you deserve something nice. You deserve something good. You deserve some relief. And Uncle Sam's helping you give it. But don't blow it. In my mind, if it don't make money back at you, it doesn't make any sense for you to spend money on it. So with that being being said, what should you be spending money on outside of expenses and things that are necessary? Well, find courses that are very inexpensive for you to educate yourself on how to make more money. I'd find courses that help you better manage your money. This is an opportunity for you to finally get clear with and define what money means to you, to be clear in what you want to go in the future, not, not just think the, for the first six inches or first foot, two feet in front of your face, but everything is long-term. Consider long-term. What will this impact? If I blow this now, what's the long-term issue that I need to address if I don't take care of this or point myself in that direction to make. I've made very, very, listen, before I was a money smart guy, I was a money dumb guy. You know why? Because I'm just thinking about here, thinking about here, thinking about here, thinking about here. I'm going to think about the long-term aspect. What does this impact me? I'll give you an example. 1996 in Orange County, when I was the United States Marines, I was a corporal in the Marines. I came back from the deployment. Found out that my wife, now ex-wife obviously, had charged up all my credit cards and purchased a lot of things. And who was responsible for that? Me, because it was on my credit cards. And what did I do? Out of panic, I'm asking all the people around me, all the, all the broke Marines for financial counsel. You know what they said? Go down, talk to this person named Susan. She's down the street here in Orange County. She'll help you go down to the courthouse. You just pay 500 bucks to file something and she'll get rid of all your debt. I didn't know that it was bankruptcy. And for the next five, six, seven years, I was trashed in terms of the interest rates I get in my car loans, trashed on what type of credit cards I get, period, without any credit was extended my way. 
Mortgage, forget about it because I was thinking too close. And so here leads me to the next one. You should invest in a mastermind group or a group of people. And by the way, right now, it's probably for free. You just need to find that on Facebook. Find Facebook groups that allow you to have conversation with people that are thinking bigger. The fancy word for that is mastermind group. People that want to know more, be more, and obviously do more. They're thinking not just for the immediate needs, but for the, the future version of themselves that they want to be. And so we've been doing this on Zooms. We've been doing this on webinars. We've been collecting information. We've been having coffee with MSG and uh, at nine o'clock in the morning three times a week. Why? Because I'm collecting information because listen, I don't want to be the smartest guy in the room. I want to tap into the wisdom of the group because the wisdom of the group, the wisdom of the crowd is always better and wiser than the smartest person in the crowd. And so you're, if you want to know more about uh, information about investing in stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, and uh, tax liens, you want to know more information about uh, insurance, you want to know more information about entrepreneurship, online marketing, so many groups out there that allow you to join their groups, just kind of tap into that information. By the way, be careful if somebody's trying to sell you coaching. Somebody's trying to sell you consulting. And how do you decipher who to, who, who to consult with and who, what package, it, if somebody's pitching you to serve, they can help you do this. You need to ask them a couple questions. Number one, what's your track record? What's your proof of concept that this works? Are you experimenting with me? Give me some examples of students that you've helped. Give me a body of proof. Give me a proof of concept that what you're pitching me on works in this city, uh, this area of the United States uh, with some of uh, somebody of my background, does it work? Do you have proof of concept? Do you have so? Do I, do I have social proof? If I check you and do uh, do research on you, do I see other people that have the same success with your coaching and consulting? One, one of the gems that I personally found was a thing called masterclass. And there's so many different categories for me to learn from: from business, politics, technology, thinking big. I'm like, for example, the next class I'm looking at uh, studying is uh, Bob Iger, who's the CEO of Disney, of him talking about what it meant like when he was shaking the hand of Steve Jobs. And then it triggered in his hand because he was connected with people, you know, they were thinking bigger. At that moment, he said, you know what? I want to acquire Pixar. And look what happened to Disney. Look what happened to the brand of Disney. I mean, look at right now how much Disney going into the online movie space, how much uh, market share they've captured from Netflix. But those are the, th the thought conversations I'm investing. What are the power moves? What are these guys thinking about? Because how you see things is how you do things. And this is a moment right now for many of you to take this money and look at it not just as, oh, the government owes me. Now listen, nobody owes you nothing. But if you have an opportunity in the land of the home of the free and the brave here in America to get this money from the government, that down the road, we're all gonna have to pay back somehow, some way, because it's gonna be added to the national debt, which leads you into conversations down the road about 401ks and IRAs of the tax deferral of your savings and investments, because you're gonna be withdrawing it in a tax environment, probably gonna be a lot higher than we are right now. I'd be making some smart investments in wisdom and how to minimize or eliminate that chance. Because what makes the rich rich is addressing taxation. Because the biggest thing that mo most wealthy people make in terms of cost is taxes. So smart people realize, how do I minimize this? And by the way, this is stuff that I've accumulated. Listen, I don't have a college degree, but I used this money when I was a single parent and I had access to my federal income tax refund check, the little money I was making as a GFLU hood technician, the money I was making as a, a survey at Olive Garden, the money I was making as a YMC lifeguard, and the money I started making in the insurance industry, boom, I started reinvesting back into me, feeding the machine, growing the machine, feeding the machine and growing the machine so I can capture and identify opportunities, I have a process of how we think through these things, avoid mistakes, and next thing you know, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, Boom, that's the overnight success. Five years now, 10 years now, that's the overnight success that was planted in this year of 2020 if you use this federal stimulus check to your advantage. Getting a check is easy. Getting quick is easy. Knowing what to do with that is the harder part. Knowing how to get that money to work for you, that's the hardest part. And guess what? Most people will blow it. And I hope you don't. And as I wrap stuff up, Maybe the video that you need to watch is this video right here, is how to become a millionaire with less than $500 in less than three years. Listen, I'm excited to see the 2023 version of you. I, I wanna know, drop it in the comment section below. Let me know how you're expecting to spend the seed capital that the federal government is giving you collectively from all the taxpayers that we all got one, one day to pay for this back, but how are you using this right now? So therefore down the road, when you become the next six figure income earner or you become the first generation millionaire, you learn from this conversation that you learn to do with the least, so therefore you receive the biggest, you know to do that too as well. You know, I'm, I'm reminded of a proverb in Matthew 25 in the Bible, not to get all biblical with you guys, but it's a parable that this master was leaving for a journey and he went to his servants. He says, listen, I'm going to give you talents, which is money. I'm going to give you talents to see what you guys do with it. When I go and I come back, I want to see what you guys do with it. And he lined all three of them up and he gave them talents, money, and he divided it up different amounts according to their ability. He gave one five talents, gave one three talents, gave one, and the, the master took off. Immediately, the one that had one talent according to his ability, the one the least amount of talents according to his ability, what did he do? He operated in fear. He buried it, did nothing with it. The other servant with three talents doubled it. The other servant with five talents, he doubled it too as well. Master comes back. Says, what did you guys do with my money? What did you guys do with my talents? 
The first guy says, listen, master, I know that you are a man that works hard for his money. You get money that nobody thinks you can get money from, but you come up with it. I don't want to lose the money because I don't know how you make money. So listen, I just gave it back to you because I don't want to lose it. Here you go. He goes, you wicked servant. And right there, it says in the scripture, at least you could have given it with the banks. At least it would have earned some interest. The other two. What did you make? Oh, you double it? You, you double it? Great. Let me take from this town who operate in fear. Let me divvy it, divvy it up equally amongst you two because I know what you guys need to do with money. So reflecting on that parable, think about this right now. You are given an opportunity. You're getting an opportunity to do something great. It's just not you just to pay your bills for the meantime. Yes, I know it is, but part of it it is, but if you're smart about it, you think a lot more higher than most everybody else because listen, most everybody lives a paycheck to paycheck life in America. And if you want to be different than everybody else, this could be your moment that not only do you get a federal stimulus check, that could be seed capital to grow a business, to grow a side hustle, to grow your venture. That you should have started a long time ago. So I tell you this, I'm not, I, I'm not getting a federal stimulus check. My, my colleagues, my friends, my business partners, we're not getting a federal stimulus check. We weren't worried about it. We're not waiting for a handout for the government to allow us to live the life that we want. We do that with these hands. Because at the end of the day, I could care less what goes on in the White House. The most important priority for me, what goes on in my house. Drop your thoughts, your comments. I want to know what you're thinking. If you haven't done so already, if you're watching the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel and you're not subscribed yet, please do so. We're looking to grow our channel here to 15,000 subs. And if it makes sense to you and you got value from this video, please hit notifications to be uploaded the next time we upload our video. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page. And if on Instagram, love to connect with you there. Watch us backstage through our Instagram stories to see what the Money Smart Guy does for real. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. I'm your Money Smart Guy. And from my garage here during the quarantine, till we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Stay healthy and stay safe.